People have different issues now. You're on the government plan. Whatever your rate is, you don't have control over that money. In retirement, income, guaranteed income, is more important than savings. I'm a tax advisor. You can access this tax-free. The growth, you keep 100%. Yeah. You have the crypto, the NFT, SPACs. It is a drug. You need something solid. You need stable. You need certainty. Guaranteed income in retirement is so critical. We know Congress doesn't like IRAs. Life insurance is a much better asset to use during life, lifetime benefits. The best thing you can do is care about your clients. What's cracking, everybody? Money Smart Guy, Matt Zappala here, hailing to you from Orlando, Florida, from our event here called Doing the Impossible. And my guest today is none other than, according to the Wall Street Journal, America's IRA expert and author, best-selling author of the book, New Retirement Savings Tax Time. It's the new one, because I read the original one uh, 15 years ago, so uh, we ran across cross pass in 2008. I don't even remember it because I was brand new to the business, but I was a normal yeah, guy in my firm. Yeah, in Topeka, Kansas. I only know that because you told me when I asked, where did I see you? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and uh, he's made an impact on my life. And I hope that as you watch this video on this episode of Seven Figure Squad, that it impacts your life too, as well as it relates to your finances and for your future retirement planning. So Ed, thank you so Great much for joining us here. today. Boy, this is an energetic group. <laughs> what we just saw it out there, unbelievable. Well, what would you think about the, uh, the the energy they're giving? The energy, the I never saw people so fired up about helping other people. That's why, you know, I asked you what the PHP was. I right. thought it was a drug. It is a drug. It's help people <laughs> helping people. What a drug that is, right? <laughs> you up. could see it. You know, you know, I'm up there on the stage as I just told you, you know, mm. you see the energy People really, and these are a lot of young people learning new ways to help people, not the old fashioned ways. People have different issues now. They're worried about taxes affecting their retirement and even beyond. And a lot of these young people have uh, new ideas and great solutions. That's awesome, very good. And that's what our mission is to disrupt the insurance industry and bring a new flavor into the into the, into the fold. So uh, Ed, I've got a presentation. I don't know if you know this, but I, I know you don't know this, but. I created a presentation to talk about retirement planning, and I call it the five gotchas of money. I talk about losses. I talk about taxes. I talk about health care. Guess where I got that from? Uh, from, your, <laughs> from your book. From your book. From your book. And so can we unpack those, yeah. those things that really comprise the time bomb that is in America's traditional planning for retirement? Yeah. So can we unpack the premise of your book of what that tax, or excuse me, what that time bomb is? Well, Everybody that opened, that did everything the right way, this is how we were taught. You, you get a job, you open a 401k, you put money in an IRA, but it's a trap. I call it a tax time bomb because these are tax deferred accounts. So they're growing and growing. Everybody likes to see their account grow, but it's growing part for Uncle Sam too. Most people don't realize they have a partner, Uncle Sam. And I don't know if you know it, he's not even your real uncle. <laughs> No obligation there to keep growing an account for Uncle Sam, right. for the government, but this is how everybody has done it. Yep. So now they have these large IRAs and 401ks and they're just bursting with taxes. The IRA is an IOU to the IRS. That's what it is. It's just a building, compounding, growing debt. And every day that goes by that you do nothing about it, that's the less that you'll have when you'll need it most in retirement and beyond for your beneficiaries. So that's one, that's one obstacle people have to navigate, right? In diffusing this time bomb. Well, they have to start drawing down these balances, but the good news is tax rates are at an all-time low, and now's the time to strike. Yeah. Rates are unbelievably low. You look at the history of tax rates, most people have never seen rates this low in their lifetime, and I don't think they're gonna go much lower. In fact, I'm worried they're going to go higher just when you reach in for yours in retirement, when the paychecks stop, the last thing you want to hear is, oh, now I'm taking my IRA, but now taxes are 40% or higher. You know, I wasn't planning on that. Sure. So if, uh, for example, I just retired my parents. And uh, I, when I first got involved in the insurance business, I got educated on long-term care. And mm -hmm. I got my mother a long-term care policy. And for myself, I got an index universal life with long-term care riders. Now that my mother's retired, had she taken that money from her IRA, or a former 401k, she would have been crushed because she had to take more money because we have her in a very nice retirement community now. But she would have been crushed in terms of adding more withdrawals from that IRA. Can you talk a little bit about what navigation well, in terms of healthcare? She doesn't have a choice. Any, this is the problem. Anybody with an IRA, I always say, you're, you don't get your plan. You got the government plan. <laughs> you're on the government plan because whether you want to or not, if you're just 
if you just have an IRA or a 401k, you're on the government plan, which means you are subject to forced withdrawals. They're called required minimum distributions, RMDs. At age 72, it was, now it's 73 for some people under the new Secure 2.0 Act. But that money is forced out. Whatever your rate is, you don't have control over that money. You must take it. It's not if, but when. But now you're on the government schedule. You want to control your own tax rates. And that's part of the trap of having an IRA into retirement. Most traditional advisors, they have a lot of misconceptions as it relates to annuities in life insurance. Can you can you unfold? Oh, I'll be happy. I've got that myself. And I've heard all the same things you've heard. But I go to the end. What does it do? What problem does it solve? And I've had this for my family. I've d done it for myself. It gives you financial security, especially older people. The number one fear in America is living too long longevity and running out of money. That's the elephant in the room. One of my basic rules is in retirement, in retirement, income, guaranteed income is more important than savings because savings can run out. You could lose it in the market. My mother had friends now, my mother had these annuities uh, because she had a great advisor who didn't listen to all the nonsense out there. Mm -hmm. And she got these checks for the rest of her life. She lived well into her 90s. No matter how old she got, no matter how sick she got, no matter how the market performed. I'll tell you something else that's kind of funny about that. Uh, the only thing that she had a great advisor who saw she was going to live a long time and didn't want the money running out. You know, that is really important. That's a real solution to an issue. So people say, oh, it costs so much. What does it cost when you run out of money? So the only thing she ever, so she had a great advisor, like some of your advisors who put her into that. I don't sell annuities or any kind of investments. I'm a tax advisor. But the only thing she ever had me do, and this was like when she was into her 90s, after each year, she would come up and ask me, I want a calculation. She wanted to know by how much she beat the insurance company by outliving their projections. Oh, I gotcha. She I think that's what kept her alive. <laughs> the checks were coming in every month. No, I'm not going yet. I got more checks, five more checks coming on the 16th. You know, that's right. it's something about it to see what financial security looks like on an elderly person. You, you this is what you want for your parents. Yeah. You don't want them coming to you because they're out of money. Yeah. That's the number one fear in America. So when people say, well, annuities, they have fees. Well, what's the fee when you lose your money in the market? That's a pretty <laughs> steep fee. Yeah. And younger people don't have time to recover. Like a lot of young people are high flying. They were into all the crypto and they all mm. lost their money. But they're young. They have a lot more years to recover. Oh, and plus, they have parents that can bail them out. Uh, uh, older people don't have that. They don't have the time to recover. Guaranteed income, at least, my rule, for their basic monthly living expenses. Whatever that number is, that's got to be guaranteed. You don't want to run out of money. The others, yes, you can invest in the market. But And I have the same thing. I have annuities, but I also have money in the market, but I use the annuities as a buffer, as a guardrail, like a hedge against uh, a market protection against downside risk in the market. So there's use for that. Now, you also asked about life insurance. I don't sell life insurance, but I'm a big believer in the solution it provides. And it provides a, a leverage solution, leaving more money to beneficiaries. Now, you may not care about that because you say, what does that do for me? But a lot of clients, a lot of people want their children having more money. And the best money to leave them is tax-free money, which is what life insurance does. But what most people don't realize about life insurance, and I'm talking cash value, permanent insurance, like mm -hmm. I have for myself with a long-term care rider, that there are living benefits. You can access this tax-free. It's growing tax-free. I love anything that grows tax-free because we get rid of our partner, Uncle Sam. The growth, you keep 100%. If you need it, it can even double uh, as maybe a retirement account, but a tax-free account. And if you don't need it, yes, there's a tax-free windfall for your children. But look at what these products do. Don't look at what the cost is. When you look at what it provides, it far outweighs the cost, and not even the financial cost, the cost up here of worrying about your own financial security. Everybody wants peace of mind. That's what these products do. That's why I have them. I had them for my family. I've recommended them, as you know, for years and years mm -hmm. from a person that doesn't even sell them. Because I think the number one thing people want, especially in this crazy world where they keep introducing more products that can you know, wipe you out of your right. life savings. I mean, just look what happened recently. Yeah. You had the crypto, the NFTs, yeah. SPACs. I, 
specs. You remember what they call those? Blank check companies. <laughs> right. and, oh, yeah, I want to put Special my purpose. retirement money in there. And, <laughs> right. and the only people that ever made money on any of these are celebrities, entertainers, and actors, you know, <laughs> well, <laughs> or sports yeah. people, you know, athletes or something. Right. Yeah. They, yeah, because they were spokespeople. Yeah. But you're not going to have time to get your money. You need something solid. You need stable. You need certainty. Guaranteed income in retirement is so critical. And you, you, the last thing you want is to have to go to your kids or family because you're out of money. The greatest gift, I always say this, I just said it at the program we just did, sure. that you can give your family is the gift of your own financial security. And those products do that. You're a tax guy, I'm an insurance guy, and a couple things come to mind. Is the combination of, of this type of team working on behalf of the clients. Oh, yeah. So what benefit does a tax professional, whether a CPA or an EA, or somebody just does tax yeah, prep, yeah. what benefit do they have working side by side to benefit the clients with an insurance person? Well, they have to work with other advisors. Everybody has their own specialty, but the more people you have working for the benefit of the person, the client, the clients like that. You know, you go in and you get service in any business. You like that. Oh, this one does that. He does that. Oh, they're all working for me. That's yeah. great. You want them together because the CPA will generally not have knowledge about the intricacies of the different insurance and annuity products, but he knows taxes and he knows that if you keep an IRA, you know, he, the job of the CPA many times is to help you keep your taxes low so you can have more money when you need it most in retirement and for beneficiaries and beyond. And, it, you know, these are products that help them do it, especially the life insurance. And more CPAs are coming around, especially when you see some of these tax act, ending the stretch IRA, having IRAs being paid out to beneficiaries now in 10 years, a short window, which means a lot of tax. tax yeah. I'm finding more CPAs attending my programs than ever before, where I talk about life insurance and they they see it as a viable solution we know congress doesn't like <clears throat> iras anymore that's what they said in secure act uh in the secure act the original secure act because they felt it was too much of a gift for children and grandchildren stretching out iras mm -hmm. for 20 30 50 years sure. and they killed that benefit right. they specifically killed that benefit and they made iras they downgraded iras as a wealth transfer estate planning vehicle right. but indirectly they upgraded things like life insurance. In fact, all they did is incentivize all of us to do the better planning we should have been doing all along. Sure. Life insurance is a much better asset to use during life, lifetime benefits we talked about with the cash value, and as a tax-free windfall for beneficiaries. Last two questions for you. From your observational standpoint, you worked as a, a, a CPA yeah. with insurance professionals. Oh yeah. What benefit in this era, in this market, downturn the market, last year the S&P was down with 20%. A, a lot of unemployment, uh, uh, people just not sure about their financial future. What benefit does somebody have in looking to the insurance industry as a potential career path? It's a potential business to begin. Oh, you can help people the most with it. That's that's what I find amazing about the leverage of life insurance. You know, one dollar doing the work of many. That's what leverage is. You can really create family fortune, really mm. tax-free family fortune. I had a book out years ago. You might remember it. Parlay your IRA of into course. a family fortune. Yeah. I said, that's not the asset. Let's bring that down and bring the tax-free life insurance up because it's leveraged money. Yeah. You know, if you uh, have an IRA and you want to have 500000 yeah, put 500000 in. Yeah, there's earnings and so forth. But you put 500000 into insurance policy, the payoff could be millions and tax-free. And the last question for you is as it relates to your state. Um, you have got a famous... Uh, representative there that wants to tax the rich. Is that the solution for America? Forget to tax about them? my state. There's a lot of people, and I don't get into politics. You have to do what's best for everybody. I just spoke to your fantastic group here, and one of the things I said, which I say to every group, especially young people starting out, because you want them on a good career path, I said the best thing you can do is care about your clients, get educated so you can give them the right advice, always do what's in their best interest, and build trust. If you build trust, that will help you. That will grow your business for the rest of your life and beyond. Trust is so important. So you can't listen, you tune out all these politicians. If anything, all they're doing is telling people, we don't know what we're going to do, but at some point we may want to pay off that deficit. And that's when we're going to go after your IRA. <laughs> so in, in essence, they're saying get anything but an IRA, Roth IRAs, life insurance. You know, you're on your own. <laughs> Boom. Yo, 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 Conrad. 
That being said, I'd love to know your thoughts, your questions, your comments. Put your feedback in the comment section below. If you haven't done so, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the Seven Fear Squad YouTube channel, a channel dedicated to help you think like a millionaire, strategize like a millionaire, so therefore one day you can become a first generation cash flow millionaire. But I have Ed Slot CPA. I'm your money smart guy, and until we meet again, continue to live smart. I want to say one thing. Oh, sure, okay. Thank you for oh. creating what, what I saw out there. <laughs> now, you didn't see out there. I saw a bunch of young people so motivated to help people. I never saw anything like it. You created wow. an amazing group here. And I, I, I was just thinking as I was out there, like there was you know, probably over a thousand people. I don't even know, a billion maybe. I don't know, <laughs> a thousand people. And I'm thinking each one of these people, I was thinking about the ripple effect. Each one of these people helps right. 10 yeah. families, 20 families, 200 right. families. Look at the ripple effect of wealth building, safe wealth, wealth building, helping people be financial secure. It's unbelievable what you created here. If you think about the ripple effect. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate that, Mr. Ezlot. Till we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be mighty smart today. Bye-bye.